you know I had to sneak in at least one trip to Aldi, right? What is up you guys? My name is Kira if you are new and welcome back to another grocery haul. I know today is Wednesday. I do usually share a grocery haul every single Tuesday on the channel along with a meal plan but things have been a bit bumpy since we left Texas when we headed to my mom's here on Long Island. They didn't just get a snowstorm you guys they got a blizzard like not a little bit of snow like 21 inches in my mom's area so the whole grocery haul experience everything that I had planned to share with you guys like just didn't really happen. I was gonna head out to King Cullen I really wanted to get like all of the cannolis and the Italian goods and like all of the true yummies and we just didn't get a chance to get out. My mom saw that the snow was coming and she ran out before I even got here and like got as much necessities as we would need to kind of be stuck in the house for a couple of days and I'm super glad that she did because like I said we got 21 inches and nobody went anywhere for a couple of days. We just kind of hung out and we ate all the food that she had. But as soon as the snow melted and my mom's tires could hit the pavement, I ran out and did a trip to Aldi. So that's what I have to share with you guys today. Just a couple of things that I wanted to pick up for my parents to try. I always just love seeing what they had. And my plan was actually to mail things back to myself that I really wanted to have. But I didn't have like the largest success. A lot of things were just picked over because of the storm, but I still have a $125 to share with you from Aldi and then $22 from Target. So that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. But hopefully you guys can hear me over the oil burner that just kicked on in my ear because let me tell you how wicked cold it is here right now. But before we get into the groceries, let's just talk a giveaway really quick. So if you guys are new, every single week I host a grocery giveaway on my channel so you guys either comment down below what you think my husband's mystery item is or sometimes I will just like give you guys something to say down below and then that will enter you in the giveaway which is what's going to happen this week because there was literally with just the quick trip to Aldi there was no mystery item for Daryl but we'll get into that in just a second so for last week Daryl did have a mystery item and his pick was tuna so you guys will see some tuna how we prepare that in a future meal prep video but that was his pick for last week so Jenny Allen you are last week's winner my email is listed in the description box girl so make sure you send me an email and I'll make sure to get you out a gift card but for this week like I said no mystery item for Daryl so as long as you give us well wishes in the comments because you guys Texas is about to have a snowstorm and we're still not sure if we're going to be able to make our flight home so as long as you wish us some well wishes down below that we can make it safely back home without being hit with any kind of snow weather then you will be entered into next week's giveaway but all right you guys that's it place your well wishes down below enjoy this week's grocery haul and let's get into it. All right, you guys. So here is $147 between Aldi and just a few things at Target. But I feel like I did pretty good at Aldi with the exception of just the condition of the store just because of the snowstorm and everything it was completely picked over there were a lot of things that I just didn't see their whole aisle of shame like no holiday items whatsoever I like that was literally the only thing I could find Valentine's Day in the whole store no I'm sorry there was a tiny end cap that had a few chocolate hearts and a few truffles that was it no coffee no anything so it was the best that I could pull out for this trip, but this is what I got from Aldi. So like I said, this is the only Valentine's Day thing that I saw. It's by Lily and Dan. It's girls fleece lined leggings and they're red with the little pink hearts on them. So I thought that would be perfect for Maya to wear. Well, 
on Valentine's Day, there's actually no school. So they're celebrating on Friday the 10th. So I figured I could send her to school in that. And it's actually pretty cold right now. So the fleece line should come in handy. Uh, I saw these and I picked them up for my mom. I thought they would be something she would enjoy. It's just coconut macaroons. You know, you guys told me when I got the macarons, or maybe you say it somehow different. I don't know, the ones that I got from Costco, the little heart-shaped cookies with the cream kind of in the middle. I realized that when you guys started saying that in the comments that they're totally the different thing. I've eaten these before. I've made something similar to this before, so... I definitely wasn't confusing the two, but I was saying, calling those ones this. But these are macaroons with the coconut and chocolate. So I think my mom is going to enjoy that. And then Jake asked me to pick up a gift for my aunt while I was out and he said he needed a candle. So I got the Huntington Home Citron and Cilantro. Jake said it almost smells like Fruit Loops. It's really, really good. And this Huntington Home brand has been really impressive to me. For $3.99, like the three row is fantastic and it burns all the way down to the bottom so if you guys have an Aldi and you haven't tried these candles I definitely recommend those uh, a little crazy on the chips but my dad really likes kettle cooked chips and stuff and I saw a couple of different flavors that I thought he would enjoy and then we're having taco night so I got some nacho chips and then of course my kids will kill that small bag of white cheddar puffs before we even leave in the next couple of days so I got the Clancy's kettle chips in the Cuban sandwich I've gotten this one before it's very very good it almost has a pickly flavor so I think Maya will enjoy them but I think this is something my dad will enjoy and then the the Nashville hot chicken. I saw this the last time that I got this one. They had this one also and I only got the Cuban so I picked this one up this time. I think my dad will like it. It says loud and spicy and he likes things with heat so he should enjoy that. Like I said our white cheddar puffs my kids will kill those and then our you know two tortilla chips for taco night. That's the Simply Nature multigrain tortilla chips. Those are the ones that are like the late July chips that we love so much. So I grabbed those. Jake and I will kill that and then the big dippers which are like scoops we'll all use that for like I said for tonight's taco I picked this up for my brother he really loves vegetable cream cheese I thought this would be something he could bring to work it's the happy farms snack pack the garden vegetable cream cheese with the little pretzel so I got him two of those I got two cheeses. My parents like to do cheese and crackers and stuff. My mom's very big on like provolone and pepperoni and that. So I got the champagne cheddar cheese. This one is so, so good. I think my parents will enjoy that. So I got that for my mom to try. And then of course I had to get the not your average cheddar since that's like the dupe from the one that I like from Trader Joe's. So I got that for my parents to give a shot. And then I got the Friendly Farms yogurt. I got two of them. Them, the tropical fruit and the mixed berry they had no pouches or anything but these are big tubs so I think my kids will just split one of each flavor for the next couple of days that we're here I did get the Pillsbury Ray to Bake Heart Cutout Cookies. Again, this is one of the only like Valentine's Day things I was able to find. It says it's 20 of them, but I thought maybe my kids could do that with my mom either tonight or tomorrow, just make some sugar cookies. This was $2.47, so I had to snag it for Jake. Look how big this bottle is. Like it is a huge bottle of tahini, but we were completely out. So I know he will be happy to see that. You guys, I literally like stopped in the middle of the aisle, I left my car. Some woman was like, uh, excuse me? And I said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I saw these and I literally froze and I left my cart there and that was extremely rude. But this is the brioche buns that I love from Aldi. Like m one of my favorite Aldi purchases. And then now they threw everything seeds on them. This is like the ultimate for me. Like nothing is better than this. Everything seeds on the brioche bread. I'm definitely having a sandwich of this before I go home and I wish that I had one close to me because this would be a staple in my freezer just like our everything bread is. Uh, I got shredded lettuce for tacos tonight, some carrots for snacking, of course two taco mixes for tacos, one head of lettuce, my dad likes to use iceberg for sandwiches, two cucumbers because everybody loves them, uh, everybody loves cherries so I got a big bag of those. Well actually I thought it was bigger but then when I lifted it up the whole bag like opened properly and then they fell to the bottom and I was like huh not as big as I thought but they'll still enjoy that 
some potatoes for our mock Thanksgiving. I got these car car oranges. I, my dad likes the blood orange ones from Costco, so I think he's going to enjoy those. And he really loves tomatoes on the vine. He grew so many cherry tomato plants. We were jealous over the summertime. He would text us bags and bags of those pictures. Like if we lived close to my parents, we wouldn't have had to buy any cherry tomatoes for any time because you know how my kids love them. But I wanted to share the honey bombs with my dad. Ugh, my castle wood. I wish they had this, the ham, but like I said, with the storm, they were so picked over. So I was only able to get the turkey breast, but I did get some of the deli sliced black forest ham. Again, that was really all they had, but I got two half pound packages. So at least we have some more like cold cut meat and stuff. We've already been through two, uh, almost four or five pounds of cold cuts since we've been here because we really couldn't have anything else. When you're snowed in, you're eating sand sandwiches. So that's what we've been enjoying. Uh, I got some of the ground mild Italian sausage to make my sausage stuffing for our mock Thanksgiving. Uh, some of the shaved beef steak so that we can have steak tacos tonight also. I thought that would be a switch. We always do ground beef but I thought steak would be uh, a nice change. Got some apple strawberry and apple banana of the applesauce pouches, whatever my kids don't eat. I'll either put in their backpack for the plane or I'll just throw them in our checked luggage because those should make it and my kids love all these applesauce. I uh, got two packages of the 12 crunchy taco shells, again for tacos, as well as our black beans. They only have a sugar-free Red Bull, so I just bought a regular Red Bull for myself. That was $2.50, which is the same price as their brand for the four of the same size cans, which is why I always tell you guys I love it, but they only have the sugar-free, and Mama just don't doesn't live that life. So uh, I left that one in the store and brought home that one. I got the wild garlic cheese stuffed peppers. I was hoping these are like similar to the ones I get at Costco so I can share those with my dad. I think that would be something he would enjoy. Uh, of course, some pizzas. If we don't eat them, I'll leave them in the freezer for my family. I'm sure my brother would enjoy just throwing in a pizza like this on a day he's off. So I got the Mama Cozy's the Take and Bake Ultimate Medium Pizza. This is the ultimate meat. So yummy, yummy. We love that. And then just the regular Take and Bake, the extra large cheese but I mean it is literally a 16 inch pie for $4.99 so how do you beat that and then lastly from uh, Aldi was ground beef patties they literally had no ground beef like again so picked over but how do you have tacos without ground beef so I got two of these I'll probably only need one since we're going to do the steak as well I'll just freeze the rest for my mom but it's four like one third pound burgers and I'm just going to put it all together in the pan and use it like taco meat but I had to think on the fly because like I said they had no packages of ground beef but that'll work the little patties and like I said if I don't need it all I will freeze it but that was it for Aldi and then I went into Target looking for a gift card and this is what I came out with so found this at the Target dollar spot in their little like Valentine's Day section look at the cute little pink pot with the you know just a fake plant but I love to stick all of those around the house like I'm obsessed with greenery but I really can't keep anything alive but my children so um, those are perfect I got the Ben and Jerry's half-baked chunks the mix of chocolate chip cookie dough and fudge brownie I've always like have seen these and stuff but I've never picked it up and I was standing next to the thing and I thought huh Mason loves his ice cream he hasn't really had much of it and this would be something different that we've never tried before so I grabbed this to surprise the kids with. I know Vanessa's been like on the hunt to redo her coffee station and she's been picking up little pieces. I don't know if she has something like this. She may. I don't remember. I didn't have time to text her. If she does, I'll just return them. But they were $5 in the Target dollar spot and they're four little mini espresso cups. And she just got her Nespresso machine and this is all the colors. The black and the white is what she did. So I thought she would love that. Uh, one thing of the Tuscan whole milk, the gallon, my parents like Tuscan milk. And then lastly, I got some of the Entenmann's donuts. We can't get the chocolate lovers by us and everybody loves those. But all right, you guys, that was it. That was my $147 between Target and Aldi. And now you guys get to see my brand new meal planner.
All right, you guys, so here is the new meal planner. This is what I'll be using for the duration of 2022. So this is the Life in Apples meal planner. My brother's girlfriend got this for me. Uh, I used Cariel for many, many years, and then last year I just used like a Ray Dunn, like regular planner, and I just used it to, you know, organize my meals. But I figured I would try something different when she asked me what I wanted for Christmas. I said, you know what, just get me a meal planner and she said she spent a lot of time like looking through and getting a good idea of what to get so I'm really excited it looks super informative like when you flip through the pages it has so many things beyond look how thick this book is so this is not just a 52 week meal planner this is pretty much teaching you how to meal plan how important it is to plan to shop to prep i love this go confidently in the direction of your dreams live the life that you have imagined so it's just like a very like powerful organizational feel good kind of planner so i'm excited about using it uh no stickers you guys i will go back and add them but with all the crap that we have to take home i didn't want to lug stickers but this is for the week of january 31st through february 6th and this one has a breakfast lunch and dinner so i think some of the cariel ones that Vanessa got had like a breakfast and a lunch option once but I don't think any of the styles I've ever gotten had anything but dinner in there so this is going to be a first for me and I always kind of just wing it for the kids for lunch I like go to bed thinking about what I'm going to do the next day but sometimes that's stressful so I think it'll be nice as a change to see how this works me planning out all of it so for monday my dad went and got bagels which was awesome being snowed in all weekend i never got to have a new york bagel so that was awesome uh we had cold cuts for lunch and then tons of leftovers the filet mignon the ravioli clam sauce meatballs all of that so we were able to finish all of that up uh, on tuesday for breakfast we just finished up the bagels again we had cold cut sandwiches just to try and use that stuff up and then uh for dinner we did taco tuesday which was perfect super super easy you guys saw I got all the chips and cheese and I got the meat we did it with the steak and stuff and it came out really really delicious I love a good nacho so that was really really good uh, for this morning, we were supposed to do yogurt and fruit, but I noticed my mom had a bag of Nathan's french fries in her freezer, and I can't get Nathan's french fries at home. So um, we did like eggs and cheese and Nathan's fries and those everything brioche rolls I shared with you guys. Holy cow, absolutely frigging fantastic. So I was, <laughs> it definitely was better than yogurt and fruit, I must say. Uh, for lunch, our plan is macaroni and regat. I have not had that. And then we'll do those pizzas since I don't know if my parents will use them after I am gone. And then tonight for dinner is a Thanksgiving. So we're gonna do the turkey and stuffing and mashed potatoes and gravy, broccoli, corn, all of the goods. So we pretty much accomplished my mom birthday Christmas and Thanksgiving all in one week so you know that is how we roll so barring no weather changes this is the plan so I'm actually on hold with United right now and I don't know how my flight situation is going to go you guys are gonna have to stay tuned we'll see what they can tweak but the snow that's expected to hit Texas is going to hit Texas literally as I'm supposed to land tomorrow and I've been getting text after text from United saying you need to change your flight so I'm on hold with them right now I don't know what's going to happen but we're going to act as if I'm still flying home because that's what I know of as of right now so uh, we will do cereal and like sandwiches whatever we can fill up because we would be picked up by our car at 9 30 a.m. I still have leftover snacks from when we flew here that we could use for in-flight snacks on the way home and then when Paul picked us up we were just going to grab some Chinese food on the way home and make it simple and easy. Uh, on Friday the kids are going to have French toast Friday with some crunchy French toast. We'll do fish stick Friday. I have fish sticks and fish fillets and then my plan is to make a big pot of sauce. I, need, I have no like sauce at all meat sauce in my freezer so I'll do that with spaghetti and salad 
Uh, Saturday is one of the days I let the kids have Pop-Tarts, so they'll be able to have a Pop-Tart if that's their choice. We'll do pizza rolls for lunch, and I ha have a pot roast planned in the crock pot with roasted potatoes and stuff. It was supposed to be cold, um, which obviously it still is. It's a good chance everything will be frozen over still at that point, so it sounded really good, like a hot pot roast kind of meal. Uh, Sunday morning we usually do pancakes. I always have breakfast stuff in the um, freezer. I planned on soup and sandwiches. I still have that tomato soup with the Ritz crackers that I've been craving. And then I have those like potato chips that were from Halloween, the bats and ghosts or whatever. They're just not super salty, so the kids really didn't enjoy them, but I still have so many of them and they're not expired and I don't want them to go to waste. So I think I'm just gonna salt them and put them in a food processor and make like a breadcrumb. We did that with the potato sticks and it worked out great. So I'm gonna try and do it with that. And we're gonna crust some chicken and we'll do that with orzo. And I have to use a fresh broccoli up that I have still from a Costco. But that you guys is it for this week's grocery haul. And meal plan it was definitely not what I was planning I was hoping this was gonna be a bonus haul and everything I was hoping for a big King Cullen Christmassy all the goods kind of thing but it doesn't seem like that worked out for me this year but stay tuned hopefully I can do that for you guys over the summer but I love you thank you so much for watching give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next one stay tuned you guys